Well, good day. It's Steve Mack here. Um, I just thought I'd throw together a quick video. Um, just a way you can test your iodine levels at home without any doctors and without any pain. Um, I'm using Lugol's iodine. Uh, you can just as easily use any normal iodine for anything. Now, basically, it's as simple as this. Now you've got some iodine, I'll try and get this in shot. Uh, you can use your finger, just put a drop on there, smear it, smear it like that, give it a few seconds to dry, and we'll come back to that very soon, I'll show you what happens. Uh, you can use it, uh, you can put the drop anywhere where the thins, where the skin's a bit thinner. You can put the drop anywhere where the skin's a bit thinner, uh, ideally in your inner thigh or even under your arm. But I've found it actually works quite well just on the fingertip or anywhere. Now bear in mind, you're going to be stuck with this for a little while. Um, and ideally, if your iodine levels are good, you'll be stuck with it for a fair while, maybe. I don't know, a couple of hours. Uh, in my case, which is why I bought the Lugol's iodine, I was just going back to uh, something I used to take many years ago and kind of forgot about it. Uh, and you can look all this information up yourself. I'm just covering it very briefly here. Uh, in my case, I want to kind of protect my thyroid when I have the um, extensive x-raying exposure next week for my um, angiogram slash angioplasty, whatever it turns out to be. So uh, that was that reason. And then of course I remembered with the knowledge I have now, um, it may actually help me with my slow metabolism, which is one big reason I blame for how much weight I've put on. So it's all good. Uh, but the purpose of this video is not to discuss any aspects of how it works. It's to give you a quick reading um, without being an accurate you know, figurative reading, it will tell you very quickly and effectively whether your iodine levels are adequate or inadequate. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. In my case, it's known that they're inadequate. So just stay tuned on this finger and I'll come back shortly. Well, you can see this is half an hour later. It started to absorb. Well, you can see it's an hour, maybe a bit more later, and it's very much disappeared. On the left finger that I tried, it literally sucked in before my eyes. As you can see, there's not much left of it, and that was really, really quick, so that was quite a surprise. So there we have it. That's the quick and easy way to tell if your body needs iodine.